Town residence. This is Kirk Hansen. The unmarked aircraft is crafted up. One, two. Pitch fucking black. Where are you, Zomi? Huh. Guess we got here first. Seems so. We'll have to sit tight. Though I assume we'd rather not sit in the dark. Power would be useful. We could also get the radio up and running. What? Can't miss our daily dose of fear mongering? We need to know the situation on the ground. I want to change out of this mess. Check this, B. Attempted postmodern art. More like a home cooked generator. Maybe we kickstart it. Literally. Uh huh. Old Thornton engine pretty run down. A little bit of chew left, too. If the fuel's not degraded, it could actually run. But can't start it. Not without a power source. Sure, but seeing as we got a lull in the lead pouring down on us. Listen, got a bad vibe about this. You? Yeah, makes two of us. Gig's got too many twists and turns. Songbird, S-tier netrunner, promises a panacea, a cure-all, then gets wiped off the map. Myers, shady politico, got a dagger thrown at her back all the way from Washington. Who by, and why? Fuck if we know. Oh, plus Kurt Hansen and this fucking Sam launcher. Just preem. Got this hot, itchy feeling in my groin. Like someone's not fessed up to something. One thing's sure. Plot runs Mariana Trench deep. We'll cobble together the full picture, piece by piece if needed. More like rest in pieces. Us both. Anyway. Let's get this power sitch sorted. Should do the trick, by my eye. All good in there? Yes. I know how to change clothes, V. Just because I haven't had to for 12 years. In you go. Fire it up. Fingers crossed. There it goes. And the maze balls. Look what I found. What do you say? There's more in the fridge. Feel free. You earned it. Booze. This is a good time. Let's see, today I survived a Delta crash, a district-wide manhunt, and a prototype killer robot. Yes, it's a great fucking time. You look... great. Right? Should draw less attention, too. Grab a gulp. We're stuck in Dogtown with no sign of life from so me. Not ready to celebrate yet. Suit yourself. But I won't let a good thing go to waste. 
housewarming gift from Songbird, maybe? <sighs> Wouldn't it be wonderful? And circling back to Night City, speculative chatter continues tonight around the downed passenger craft. And U.S. representatives claim President Rosalind Myers was aboard when catastrophe struck. City officials have yet to release any statement. However, one all-too-familiar figure did decide to speak out. Kurt Hansen, the self-proclaimed leader of Dogtown, called a press conference earlier today to offer his take on the situation. I'm being framed. Isn't it obvious? The NUSA's been out for my blood for years. Now I'm not without flaws. But another thing I'm not is suicidal. An attempt on the life of the head of the NUSA? What transpired in Dogtown is no trivial matter. I urge you all to consider the true motives behind this... spectacle. The NUSA will take any excuse it can get to send forces into Dogtown. And will they stop there? <laughs> no. You... Good people of Night City are next in the fucking line. Shit. Mark my Fuck words. This. Troglodyte's clever. Maybe too clever for his own good. Bull to the shit. Nobody's buying that. Oh, they're buying it, all right. Reporters even talking to him is the first sign. Night City's public enemy number one, given a full press spread. What a fucking joke. Some mysterious party's out to trigger war. An attempt on my life's a damn good case of spell eye. All the more reason for us to stay put. Got plenty of mysteries to solve. Songbird, Washington, Hansen. To name a few. Agreed. Hear that? Footsteps. Songbird? Maybe. Can't be sure, though. It's our lucky day, Chumba. A penthouse with a view of the city. Hey. And lights that work. Yeah. This doesn't feel right. None never does what you, does it? Fucking killjoy. You want an angle on Hanson's airdrops? You got it. V, we need to eliminate them. Come on, man. Let's have a look around. Wait. I want to try talking first. I hope you know what you're doing. Weapons! Now! What the fuck? I won't say it again. Yo, 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 chill. Just looking for a place to hold up for the night. Back the hell up! That's better. Weapons! Now! What the fuck? I won't say it again. Yo, 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 chill. Just looking for a place to hold up for the night. This one's taken, clearly. Told you. So I see. This, the uh, presidential suite. Shit. Word is, they a bounty on the head of Rosalind Myers. What are we gonna do about that? Come on, guys. Let's figure something out. We don't want any problems. Iron in my face? Say otherwise. This iron will stay silent, so long as you do. Now that's an idea. But our silence ain't come cheap, yeah? Whoa. Pump the brakes, man. Not now, Tay. I was negotiating. Do you remember negotiating with Hanson? What happened? Not now. You lost, Chum? Last I checked, we're in Dogtown. Don't tell me it's you two against the town here. One little misstep, and you're Scott. Would you rather die in Dogtown, or find yourself a nice place across the city line? Your choice. Jacob. Hmm. And what's that supposed to look like exactly? There's enough space for four. Should be easy to stay out of each other's way. But if any uninvited guests arrive, we'll be counting on you to stand with us. Huh. Only a gonk-ass fool was spit on an offer like that. Finally. And... Want me a ray feed? Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Any model in particular? Shit, my ass will fit them all the same. Tell me where you want it. Will do. 
So long as your bodyguard don't slit our throats come nighttime. Well, V, do you plan to slit these two gentlemen's throats? All depends on you, Chooms. Gonna have my eye on you. Likewise, Choom. Well, all fucking right. We got us a deal. I like to celebrate new chooms by tossing back a few. But T and I gots to be sharp. Airdrops come morning. Gotta get up early. Same here. Come on, V. It's been a hell of a long day. Watch the master alert, T. Watch and learn. You're gonna get us killed one of these days. Maybe. But at least you'll kick it with a smile on your face and your balls in the right place. Looking for someone. Asian American woman, about 30. Seen anyone like that? Well, it doesn't ring a bell. But shit. <laughs> you can't ask her to meet at a bar like a normal chew. You pull the night shift? Well, we could call it my part of the deal. And an old habit from the Badlands. Badlands. My old stomping ground. Which family are you in? None now. I took an exit ramp off the road to life. How come? I sold my people out to the Raffins. Fourteen family dead in an ambush at Tipton Peak. Heard enough? Heavy, Chew. Well, you asked. I'm the one who has to live with it. What's up, V? Shoot some shit with me? Then spill it, my man. Working for the press. What's it like? Feds probably pay stacks, yeah? Every hour brings new challenges. Can't tell you more than that. Yo, no doubt, no doubt. Hang with the right peeps? I bet the whole world opens its legs. Business trips, Lux hotels, joy toys on demand, Ganic meat, happy hour in orbit. I mean, shit! Like a fucking rock star. Like a fucking rock star. Anyway, you made a wise choice for an overnight. Safe, out of the way. It's even got work and power. Mentioned airdrops before. What's that about? It's like this. Colonel Hansen runs a big market, but he's landlocked, right? Gotta get his shipments in somehow. Talking iron, ammo, meds, Fucking anything. All fallen out of the sky and into Kurt's lap. Now, if you know where and when to look, might fall into your lap instead. Feel me? Telling me fighters keepers? Clepping from Kurt? It's kid stuff. Trickle down economics, I call it. Finally. Legs are killing me. Come on, take a breather. Still nothing from So Me. Radio silence. She's never gone dark this long. Troubling, to say the least. How you feel about our roommates? None too bright, but not entirely useless. And two extra guns could always prove handy. Gonna give them that payday, really? Why wouldn't I? They're taking a sizable risk.
so. What if Songbird don't show? We need to wait. It's all we can do for now. If she doesn't show, well... Then... I'll have one other option to consider. But let's table it till morning. We should get some rest. <laughs> Surreal. All of it. What's that? I'd have been home by now. Reading the evening brief, glass of water and two sleeping pills waiting on the night table. Doesn't sound like you miss it much. Hmm. See you in the morning, V. on the balcony. Help yourself to some coffee. I made it fresh. Sleep okay? Night all right? Like any with a roof overhead. Claustrophobic. As for Jacob, he thrives in dreamland. Come on, baby. Ever ridden in a rayfield? My villa with VIP friends? High society? On and on till the crack of dawn. A man with ambitions, clearly. Those in a deviated septum. She's not here. I Means she's not coming. You've seen the swarms Henson has at hunting? Might have nabbed her. Possibility. One that concerns me the most. I need to find her. You don't leave your people behind enemy lines. Could it still buy that fairy tale bullshit? Whatever happened, we have to help her. Listen, I know we had a calm night, but you gotta leave Dogtown. How? In a car trunk? Fingers crossed? Hanson's waiting for that sort of desperate attempt. Okay. I gotta be away. Let me think. Know my share of fixers, bet we could get one Out of the question. They'll hand me over to the highest bidder. Gotta find it myself, sounds like. On my own. Not entirely. I have just the person to help. Solomon Reed's the name. Seven years ago, he headed up our intelligence efforts in Night City. He and so me were a team. With the conflict over, he went into hibernation. So he's out there somewhere. Reed's a man of principle. He can't be swayed, can't be bribed. If there's anyone we can trust now, it's him. A sleeper agent? No shit. Tell me more. Unless that's like a state secret or whatever. It is. Of the false bottom drawer variety. Let's say you want to secure your interests on another country's soil. If diplomacy fails, you resort to other means. Like a military coup. That's one option. Solomon Reed is another sure one. Reed guy sounds like an ace up your sleeve. Could have played him already. Activating a sleeper agent is no simple matter. You'll need a dog whistle. What now? Don't tell him I called it that. It's a signal only Reed will hear. It'll be tricky. Huh. There was a secret comms channel accessed only from a Capitan Caliente nearby. The FIA used it before the war. The access code was... 0931. Got a bad feeling, V. Meaning an analog landline. That crash tear open a hole in space-time? When sending sensitive information, you use the technology least vulnerable to interception, old or not. That Caliente should still be wired for it. Owner have a thing for antiques? He had a thing for federal money. And he might still be alive. Remember, 0931. Okay, seems doable. And I prefer discretion to destruction. I trust that's clear. Uh-huh, so what'll happen next? Reed will need to screen you. 
You'll show him this. It means you work for us. What the? The file will be created for you in the FIA database. Wait, back up. Tell me I'm a special agent now. That's right. But taking the oath make it feel more real. Secret comms line, presidential token. What's next? The coded message in today's scream sheet? That token is for your safety. If Reed isn't 100% certain I sent you, he won't hesitate to kill you. Seems we're on the same side. Can't hurt. Oh, V. Repeat after me. I, V, do hereby solemnly swear. I, V, do hereby solemnly swear to faithfully serve the new United States of America. Fucking pathetic. To faithfully serve the new United States of America. I vow to uphold the values set forth in the nation's constitution and represent its government with dignity and due diligence. I vow to uphold the values set forth in the nation's constitution and represent its government with dignity and due diligence. I pledge to defend my country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Should this cause claim my life, so be it. I pledge to defend my country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Should this cause claim my life, so be it. On behalf of all NUS citizens, I thank you. Good luck out there, V. And don't let the bastards nab you. You know, taking that oath, bad idea. Oh yeah? Some causes are worth pledging your life to, V. This ain't one of them. Yeah, yeah, fuck the system, fuck Arasaka, fuck the NUSA. Jesus Christ, V, this ain't some teenage anarchist boot camp. No, I was once a corpo jarhead, right? Practically dove into uniform head first. They had a real hard-on for the oath. Repeat after me, bloody fucking blah. But can't remember what I solemnly pledged to do. Sure you want to talk about this? Forget it. You were just do a chewing out. See that crazy color smoke? Yep. Wham bam. One of Hanson's cargo drops, no doubt. She all yours. I sure as shit ain't making that crime. Thanks for the heads up. Maybe I'll take a look. Sure thing. Sierra Nevadas. 
Um, only did the one gig for you, far as I recall. Hmm. And let's not forget our tour tale of Haitians, Netrunners, and animals. You could not have made contact with the VDBs without me. Your source for adventure I am, in Dogtown as elsewhere. So, we finally gonna meet in person? I can say neither yes nor no. In lieu of an answer, I've new work for you. I hope you'll accept. One last thing. How you breach Dogtown's border, I'm not certain. Though, I suspect not via the main gate. Irrelevant in any case. I've secured clearance for your future convenience. Your name and likeness now registered in the system, granting unfettered passage over the district threshold. Talk Fast prices in Dogtown. Certified resale. Capitan Caliente. Guy clearly went down with this place. Stash house, by the looks of it. Right. Let's see what's here. Antique. Junky variety. Wonder if it even works. I'll have a double cheeseburger while you're at it. Uh, 
Anyone there? Hello? Fossil's probably busted. Or you flopped the number. What the fuck do we do now? Who is this? Call me V. Andrew Jackson, basketball court. Daytime. Noted. Not exactly loquacious, our man of mystery. Could just prefer text. Damn sure I do. Ain't nothing without your help. Check out Ronald's Cream Stands. Oh, it was a simple misunderstanding, really. I wanted him to pass the salt and ended up... Pretty sure the tomb said daytime. Only thing we're meeting here is a stray bullet feed. Best seats in the house. A Gonna be a game to remember. To go Johnny Silverhand. Basketball that? fan? That's new. You know that. that. Okay? Another game started. One where your head's the fucking ball. Felt the same thing. Something nasty's brewing. Fucking storms, what's brewing? <laughs> Don't let the sunshine fool you. You're up against seasoned players, whereas you just stumbled onto the court. These are trained sociopaths. Pretend to be your friends while they fucking ain't. So go out and play. Just don't get played. Just come out and say it. You don't trust Myers. No, her type is all. Politicians? Worse. Armed forces. Saying no to high-ranking cunts like putting your mouth over the barrel of their gun. Get shitty fast if you try to run. Take it from a deserter. told me about that. Nothing to be proud of. <gasps> Tore out that chapter. Crumpled it, swallowed it. Our sitch hairballed it back up. <laughs> One thing I did learn. Caked in blood and mud. What was that? After every carrot comes the stick. <laughs> Allow me to illustrate. Every grunt gets a rifle, flak jacket, and a bunch of promises. Comes a time you're out of ammo, Kevlar's tattered cardboard, and what's left of the promises? <laughs> Fuck all, I'm guessing. Exactly. And that's when they reach for the stick they call values. Getting shelled in your dugout, tombs are taking refreshing phosphorus showers, and some officers ranting about loyalty and duty. The moment you stop shitting carrots and they wave the value stick, fucking run, rabbit. Run. Got the warning. I'll keep one foot out the door. Too late. Swore an oath to the new fucking United fucking States of America. If you faked it, it makes you a pushover. If you meant it, it makes you a tool. Politicians, military runners, intelligence operatives, Colonel Hansen for dessert. 
All the rotten fish in one fucking barrel. This dog town. Don't turn around. Eyes on the court. Ah. Uh. Hands. What you holding? Johnny. Who the hell's breathing down my neck? How the fuck should I know? Only see what you see. I see you holding something. Show me. Got this token. Mean anything to you? Yes. But I need to make sure. Keeps his cards close, this one. Who sent you? <gasps> mutual friend. We don't have mutual friends. Friend survived an accident. You might have heard. I might have. Zone defense, that. Keep pushing. Is she safe? Hard to say. The longer we sit here. That's it. Dribble around him. Were you followed? Did you even bother to check? Doubt I was tailed. So you didn't check? So you still got a ways to go? We'll work with what we got. Black Thought and Merrimack, in the street. Three minutes, front seat. We better leave separately. Don't want anyone to get suspicious. You first. Don't want to be caught holding hands? Read. Slippery motherfucker. I think we really hit it off. Sure. Betty's got candy in that van. Ready to find out? Where were you in it fast? On the net. I can do what I say. Or make my ass back for you. What's the word? Was it really the end you were saying? I don't know. It was Kano Sunday Tumba. Yeah. As crazy as it is. Blackthorn. Before we go, apologies for the precautions. I only ever rest so much. Sometimes it's just safer to shove the barrel of a Malorian between a Troon's ribs, even if he is on your side. It's nothing personal. No hard feelings, I hope. No. No hard feelings. It's all good. I had to make sure I'd have done the same. Is that so? You're not in the biz, V. Our biz. Actually, I am. Though, just since yesterday. I was about to say your first time's out are the hardest, but... I'm not gonna lie. I combed FIA data for info about you. Interesting profile. Snowman. Back at clan. No longer extent. Now a freelance merc. To make things more interesting, FIA agent. You received a commission last night. One thing eludes me. What drove you to get entangled in this mess? Songbird hired me. Know her? So me. Something up? We used to work together. I thought I heard the last about her, but... That girl's a magnet for trouble. Right. It's time we paid our friend in distress a visit. Address, please. Abandoned building on Crest Street, 8th floor. You left her alone? In Dogtown? Was I supposed to drag her along while cruising around? Mm. Actually... Look, place seemed plenty safe to me. Safe? A derelict building in Dogtown. Just listen to how that sounds. Hold up. I need to take this. Why are you calling me on my day off? Last I heard, you're the manager. 
Ask Bob. He owes me a favor anyway. Yeah, well, tough nuts. You'd have to manage without me. Boss, man. I work the door at a club. Selection, you know, bouncing. Huh? That your Lilo gig? A bouncer? It pays the bills and nets me a little disposable. Sleeper agents aren't entitled to government pay. Not even under the table. Huh. This is not how I imagine spending my day off. Saving them. No tail. So that was a fucking lie. Damn it, hands is good. Here we go. Might have tagged me off a metro cam feed. Did our damnedest to stay off the streets. If so, good idea, poor execution. He's hoping we're not too late. close behind. Hanson's Gangoons. Must have spotted you. Tracks you left. We need to take those fools down and hope we're not too late. Some things never change. What? Wherever she goes, people get hurt. Bodies drop. Oh, shit. Should have wiped those camera recordings. My bad. A mistake. Happens to everyone. Let's hope we can correct it. If anyone had tried to extract her forcibly, this whole level would be in shambles. No way she would have gone quietly. Open up, it's me. Is this how you greet me? Uh... Sorry. Roslyn, are you alright? I'm fine. But I heard shots. Jacob and Taylor. They tried to defend. We arrived too late. Shit. 
Hmm. You remembered my number. Some numbers you never forget. Level with me, Rosalind. You never intended to call that line. Well, I found myself in Night City with a bounty on my head. So it seemed the right moment to reach out, have a tete-a-tete, -tete, reset an old friendship. I'd offer to sit down and chat over coffee, but the clock's ticking. I need to arrange a passage for you to Washington. No, Reed. We need to talk first, all three of us. Here. The President, a merc, and a special agent walk into the Oval Office. Question is, where do I fit into this joke? You've seen the news. Uh-huh. Hansen's spin work never fails to amuse. He's not acting purely on his own initiative. Someone from our camp's propping him up. Hansen, any idea who he's in bed with? Rosalind has more enemies than you can count. This shit runs deeper, Reed. I wasn't alone on that flight. I heard so me was on board. Where is she now? V was the last person to talk to her. Most likely scenario. Got caught in some ice in the combat bot when she acted. One little mishack. Happens even to the best. But no way to know for sure. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we need hard evidence, not speculation. Reed, I needn't remind you what this means for the NUS's national security. Besides, she's your prodigy, Saul. You taught her all your tricks. Hell, even recruited her. She and V have a unique... Uh, bond. It's a lead. Our only one for now. You two have to find her. Together. I already died for the cause once. Not enough? What do you mean, already died? What has Myers told you about me? Said you led an intelligence cell here. Went into hibernation at war's end. So she omitted the fact that Arisaka tried to smoke me. <clears throat> and that I ended up in intensive care with three bullet holes. That six months had passed before I could take a shit on my own. Huh. Might have slipped her mind. Convenient. Well, now you know. Look, every moment we spend pouting here, our chances of finding Somi alive drop. Hard. Barely know you, but you don't seem like a chum who'd leave their agent out to dry. She won't survive without backup. Don't know me well, but well enough, I guess. I wouldn't. I'm here. I'll help. But I'm doing it for Somi. And my country. Call me naive if you like. As for you, V, you said in the car a songbird hired you, correct? I don't know how much he's paying, but you better ask yourself, is it worth it? Songbird's my only shot at surviving. Got Arasaka's relic in my head, slowly, surely, poaching my brain. Seems we're all on the same page now, V. Which means we can help each other, too. Agreed. Think so, too. If we want to find Somi, we gotta dig deep. I mean, actual reconnaissance. No stone unturned. We need contacts, informers not afraid to sing, who might see something in it for themselves. You'll need to earn their trust. Big ask in Dogtown. Won't be easy. I need to arrange a safe passage to Washington for Myers. Expect my call soon, V. Thanks. For everything. Buy me a nice dinner sometime. <laughs> you do this often? Invite presidents out on dates? Often enough. Okay. Dinner it'll be. Just gotta survive till then. All right, I need to make some calls.
shit. V, a few days ago, scavengers hit a transport. The tech vanished, as did the guards. The latter will presume for good. Now, that would just be another day in Dogtown. Until I receive word from Zeta Tech CEO. The transport, though unmarked, happened to be theirs. Among the plethora of tech stolen, there was one precious eye implant and its schematics. The poor scav seemed unaware of its building in the guest rector. You'll follow their sick. Go to the scav nest of the scraper in the launch or stacks. I've sent you more details in writing.
We gotta check I'm it out. Free man. I have the right to relax. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. Zeta take higher. I think I know why you're here. Let me guess right back. Want me to rescue you? No, no. The prototype and its schematics, correct? They might have locked me up, but I kept the signal pinging from my prototype. I knew the corp would send someone eventually. Uh huh, cute. Now the short version. Who are you? Hassan Demir, Zeta tech engineer. Only survivor of the scav ambush. How'd you get caught with your pants down? Zeta Tech did map the route? It was an undercover operation. Minimal security, maximum secrecy. <laughs> Only language scavs speak is brute force. Think you forgot Dogtown ain't Night City. Noted. Now, I have a proposition. Get me out, and I help you find the tech. Yes? Fixer didn't mention a rescue op. Only the prototype. You have it? Oh, I have it. Wait, wait. Tell me you planted that tech in your own damn skull. Well, I figured it was the safest way. The border control scans don't recognize unreleased tech. In retrospect, it does seem, uh, rather foolish. Then again, it bought me a few hours of life. We're a package deal, the prototype and I. You won't get it while I'm here. Withering away. More luck than sense, this one. How gog you gotta be to chip yourself with prototype tech? No offense, V. Of course, unless Zeta Tech forced him into it, made a guinea pig out of it. Prototech's capricious, erratic. For a Zeta Tech engineer, sure took a big gamble planting that thing. Indeed, a gamble. Yet, the alternative was far more dangerous. Right. And Big Daddy Zeta Tech? All cool with letting some Dogtown Ripper fuck around with Papa's priceless prototype? Papa was not informed of the decision. Now, can we please take this conversation outside? Here's an idea. I go in there, yank that chrome out of your skull, and hit the road. I'll tell you what I told those savages. There is no way to extract it short of a ripper dock. You yank, it's ruined. Prototype's all I need. Its condition? Whole nother gig. That still leaves the schematics. Uh, listen, I can show you where they're holding them. So that's your scheme, huh? Fine. Try anything funny, though. There is a time and a place to be funny. This isn't it. Yeah. Now, to crack open this door. Bypass the security? If you can't, the guard room's nearby. Maybe they have a passcode. Right. Back in a nanosec. Two seven five three.
Well, I see Zeta Tech spared no expense in hiring a real professional. Now your time to shine. How do you know where these schema docs are at? Their workshop. The scavs took me there, forced me to remove the security protocols on the tech they'd swiped. Uh-huh. Lead the way then. And no gonk moves. Jesus, is that... Harry? The man was a real prick, but this... It's barbaric. Two scouts ahead. Can you work your magic? No, Docs. Unless, uh... It didn't really look. I suppose this would have been my fiery grave if you hadn't shown up. Burned at Zeta Tech. Nearly burned here. Ah. A scav on the balcony. You'd better take him down. Here we are. The tablet should be in there. Could you, uh, terminate the guard? Right, right. This is it. It's got to be here. Somewhere. Found it! Freem, got it. Stick close. We'll get you out of here. And if they see the empty cell and sound the alarm? It could get really hot really quickly. You got an idea? Let's hear it. The drawbridge. I've seen the scavs use it. I suppose it's their emergency exit from the scraper. ...will vanish before they realize. Little to no risk. See? Not as burdensome as you thought I was. It's time we were on our way. Couple more steps. Keeping it quiet. Out of sight, out of harm. They don't spot us, we'll be just fine. Come on, Hassan. Keep it together. Attention all residents, this is Kurt Hansen. Enemy collaborators... Now to disable the bridge. Better not have scavs on our backs, no? Huh! Wow. One line about being an engineer, huh? Hey, as long as it stops working. Should be safe here. Ah, 
I owe you one, truly. It was getting quite ugly back there. Sure thing. Not like I'm leaving empty-handed, right? Well, uh, I suppose I can take it from here. I'll tell my superiors you did one hell of a job. Oh, no, no, no. You'll sit tight while I call my fixer, grab some transport. Sure, he'll want to handle the prototype personally. No, no, wait. I, uh... I can't go back to Zeta Tech. You know what? Getting on my nerves now, Chum. You get one answer. What the fuck's your deal? And my deal, uh... Uh... I don't intend to return to Zeta Tech. I plan to grab the prototype and vanish into Dogtown. I had a buyer. I was waiting on the signal to run. Then the scavs attacked and everything went to shit. Going back, it... It would be a death sentence. Fucking haze me, Hassan. Put my shit on the line for you. And you want to leave me out to dry? I was in a goddamn scav cage. You would have left if I told you the truth. Maybe, maybe not. But you definitely made a big mistake trying to con me. I fucked up, okay? If I'd known. Please, if you send me back, I'm dead. Newsflash, Chum. Dead already. They'll find you and snuff you before you walk with that tech. Then, I give up. Kill me. I'm not being dramatic. I'd rather die by your hand than their tortures. Attention all residents, this is Kurt Hansen. Okay. Enemy you and me, never met. Our story, Scav's got the schematics, prototype went AWOL. We clear? You... really? Yes, understood. I... thank you. Now I Delta. You, find a big-ass rock, crawl under it. I mean it, Hassan. Zeta Tech gets half a whiff, you're dead. Right. Okay. Sly bastard bamboozled the corp and you in the process. Do nothing for Hassan. But I got a feeling his luck ain't gonna last. Welcome to where the magic happens. If you're looking for preem threats, you found them. What's trendy in Dogtown these days? You know, I used to be a designer at Ejai once upon a time. Taught me one important thing. Your clothes are a tool, not an accessory. No matter what life you're trying to... V, a little birdie chirp that you retrieve Zeta Tech's paraphernalia. Any issues? Birdie didn't say. Prototype wasn't around. Got the schematics. Though. Any issues? It 
it's certainly a snag. Zeta Tech will not be thrilled, but I suppose that's my cross to bear. Transferring your compensation now.